guys, welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie and I'm a full-time reseller, meaning I flip items all in for a profit and make a full-time living off of it. And in today's video, I'm taking you guys thrifting with me solo dolo today. And I'll be hitting up three different Goodwill stores to find items for cheap that I can flip for high online. So let's just jump into the video. Goodwill. Oh, tailor made. Great golf brand to be on the lookout for. Wow, this polo looks brand new. I always am scared of white because <laughs> it's always a stain you don't see. This one looks clean though. It's got the embroidered tailor made on the sleeve, size large. Wow, this one looks brand new. Should be 2025 20, plus shipping. And they are $4.89 here. Check this out. Flex fire hose. Another flex fire hose. Two right next to each other with the black seam on the zipper. That looks so cool. We found two of these before and they both sold. They have a great sell through rate. Just an overall really good seller and should be a nice quick flip. And we got two bad boys. Let's go. And it's by Duluth Trading Company. These are 42 by 30, but that's definitely a very good model to be the lookout for within Duluth Trading. I spy with my eye. Spider. Spider size. Hmm. Oh, medium. Size medium. We found one spider. 1-4 zip like this one before. It was brand new with tags, though this one is not, but it sold the next day. Got the nice embroidery on the back here too. This one looks brand new, so definite pickup here. Spotted this. Columbia PFG. Omni shade, sun protection. It's like a pair of hiking convertible pants. So they zip off, they can be a shorts, they can be a pair of pants, super lightweight. We found this at the Goodwill Grand Opening, a very similar pair of these, and should get around 25 plus shipping. And they are $4.89 here. Very good condition too. Perfect for this fall. Okay, we had some solid finds at the Goodwill. We were in and out in about 40 minutes, so not bad. And now we're heading over to the next Goodwill. All right, I gotta do a little voiceover here because they were blasting music at this Goodwill. Found a Ohio State hoodie and it's got a huge stitched front, which, you know, we're a fan of. Always a good pickup here. The brand doesn't really matter that much when it comes to college and university hoodies and sweatshirts like this, as long as it has the huge stitch front or just a large graphic or is super vintage. These are just great sellers for us and we're expecting about $25 plus shipping. And almost right next to it was another Ohio State hoodie. This was from Pro Player. This one had a little bit of wear in the fabric, but it had a huge stitched front and also the big embroidered head on the sleeve. Can't really say no to these hoodies, to be honest. So we got another bread and butter hoodie, another 25 plus shipping. Boom, boom, not a bad start on this store. Okay, so I'm all about always learning and I came across this pair of Under Armour pants, but I saw something. It's called the Showdown Pants. When you see a big brand such as Under Armour have a specific model, you always wanna look up that particular model. Don't write Under Armour Pants, write Under Armour the Showdown Pants. On eBay, there are 50 pre-owned listed and over 90 sold. So that's almost a 200% sell through rate, which is just phenomenal. That means that it should sell really quickly, which is what we're always looking for, a quick flip. You should be able to get around $25 plus shipping. <laughs> so uh, 25 seems to be the number of the day. 
I also found a FR Carhartt and it's like a um, it's a button down shirt I looked it up also over a hundred percent sell through rate should get 2025 plus shipping for this one as well so pretty good find so far not bad not bad I'm so mad look at this it's a pair of Nike track pants mix but the swoosh is all messed up look at these track pants how dope are they? I'm so annoyed. Because other than the source, these are... <laughs> I take it back. It's wrecked. <laughs> I was going to say excellent condition. <laughs> That's wrecked. All right. I was maybe going to take a chance on it with the busted swoosh, but with the busted garage. <laughs> no way. Sad. Hmm. Got a couple of items there. It's a bit noisy street here. I had to leave the Under Armour pants behind because I found some stains in the back, some marks. They look like pen marks and um, I'm not getting those off. So nobody wants to wear pen marks on their booty area. So I decided to leave those behind sadly, but I'll definitely be on the lookout for that model uh, in the future. And now we're heading over to the last Goodwill. Good wheel! Ooh. Ooh. Tommy Bahama. Wait, that is so cool. It's like a dragon. Size large, 100% silk, all of a print. This one's dope. This one's dope. I wish there were dragons on it though. Like, why is there an embroidered dragon on the inside that nobody's gonna see? It's cool though, but uh, always check if they have all the buttons. This one does. Good. It reminds me of two of the shirts that we found at, it was like a flea market or some, or church sale or something like that. And they both sold for a good amount of money. I'll, I'll show the comps because uh, they sold quickly and they are very similar to this one. So I'll expect to get around the same. All of a print, 100% silk on Tommy Bahama. Definite pickup. This one's dope. All right, found a bread and butter Nike mesh lined track pants. A basic pickup, 2025 plus shipping. Oh, it's a dark gray actually. I thought it was black. It's a dark gray color with the embroidered swoosh. Looks clean. It's a bit boring, but they still sell, so I'm gonna pick it up. <laughs> well, thankfully, I saved that one for a last because there were not a lot of fans on that one, uh, and it would have been a crappy start of my day if that's if that was my first store. Uh, overall, pretty happy about this thrift trip. Should make a good profit on uh, our items here. Again, thank you so much for watching and joining me on this thrifting trip. Remember to be rad. Hit like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.